Hi there, and let's get to it. We're going to continue where we left off in the last video, this time looking at the curves editor function when keyframing. Before we start working with the interface itself, I think it would be good to take a look at how this works conceptually. So we've already understood that animation is the change of a value of an object in time. This value doesn't necessarily have to be position-based. It could also refer to things like scale, opacity, rotation, and in the case of the color page, a lot of the grading options too. But so far, the type of animation that we've looked at has been linear. It means that the amount of change occurring per frame is uniform throughout. And that doesn't always have to be the case. You could change the way that the animation occurs to give it a more fluid or more organic look. So in the case of these two visual examples, at the top we have a linear animation in which the object is moving from one side of the screen to another uniformly. And underneath that we have the same animation, but with a Bezier curve applied to the motion so that instead of continuing at the same speed throughout, the animation is a bit slower at the start, picks up speed in the middle, and then slows down before the end, which tends to look more aesthetically pleasing to the human eye. So when we go back to DaVinci and drop down a few keyframes, in this case on the zoom position and the rotation, go down in time and apply a few changes. Just like last time, we're going to click on the icon in the bottom right corner to reveal the keyframe controls, and make sure that the arrow next to transform is expanded to reveal all the individual keyframes. Currently, the animation of all three values is linear, so I think I'm going to target the zoom function and get that to operate at a different rate from the other transform controls, while at the same time beginning and ending at the same time. To activate the Curves Editor, click on the Curve icon next to the Keyframe Editor on the right-hand side, and there it is. I can switch between the other transform controls to reveal that each one has its own Curves Editor, and there's my zoom. And here I can select my keyframe and indicate that I want it to behave as a Bezier curve. Right now there's four icons at the top telling me how the point will behave. Currently it's set to linear, but the three icons next to it show an easy ease out, Easy Ease and Easy Ease In, terms that will be familiar to anyone who's used the function in After Effects. So I click on my Easy Ease Out, and already it's amended the curve so that it's not as sharp in its incline. I could grab the handle of the Bezier curve and indicate how I want the speed to behave. So if I pull it upwards, I can achieve the opposite effect. The animation will be quick at the start and then slow down and taper off towards the end. So now if I play this back, you'll see that the zoom is much more dramatic. You can continue to change the duration of your animation by moving the keyframe to the left and right, and you can continue changing the value by moving it up and down. When you're finished, you can collapse these controls by clicking on the keyframe editor in the bottom right corner of the clip. I hope you found that helpful, and I'll see you next time.